Hello everyone, welcome back to our Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play. Hope you're having a good day. I have just been spending a little bit of time getting myself nice and enchanted. I have sort of, I think I got this gear last time, but I've been working on our tools a bit now. So we've got uh, efficiency 5, fortune 3, sharpness 4, not back 2, unbreaking 3 sword, an efficiency unbreaking shovel, silk touch pickaxe, and a silk touch axe with a uh, smite 3 on it. I don't really know why I didn't even know that you could get a uh, smite 3 on a sword. Not on a sword, on an axe. And that's pretty much all I've been doing in my off camera time. I put in a little path as well, just so that we can get back and forth when we know where we're going. I still need to go and get some rooted dirt to texture this a bit more, but now we have a path at least. And I think things are slowly coming together. Now, today I think that we need to go back into the nether because we need to start making a little bit more progress and gearing up to fight the dragon even though that's a little bit away I still want to get us access to potions and in order to do that we need to find a nether fortress and we haven't found one of them yet I've sort of barely been into the nether poking my head in here and there but I think it's time. And we've got pretty decent gear as well, hopefully. So in order to get ready for the nether, I think I want to obviously take some blocks just to mark where we're going and a little bit more coal just in case. I guess you never know. Probably not gonna need another bed, a flint and steel just in case. And I have been working on a bow, so I think Maybe, do I have anything? Got 21 arrows. I might see if there's actually any chicken feathers and see if we can make some more arrows. Okay, we've got 10. How many? Okay, 61 arrows. I think that will be okay. You know, I'm also going to grab some gold just in case we come across any little piglins to barter with. And here is my bow. So it is a power five unbreaking three bro a bow. Hopefully that will be okay. And I've decided that we will take these two pieces of armor just in case we've got a golden chest plate, some golden leggings. They're not the best, but they shouldn't be too bad. I just feel like I need to have the fire protection as well as the blast protection. So we'll use up the, the golden chest plate and go from there. Unfortunately, I only have three levels, so I can't even enchant this with anything, but we'll be fine. I'm safe-ish, right? Okay, the sun is rising. I think we have everything that we need. Let's head on into the nether and see if we can't find a nether fortress and get ourselves some blaze rods and some nether wart. I really need to come up with a better design here. Any piglins want to do some trading around here? Any little piglin friends? You're some piglin friends. Maybe we can get lucky and get, I don't know, it's like some fire resistance or something. Anything good? Come on, guys. Okay, anything good? Absolute rubbish. Cool, thanks guys. Um, anyway, let's maybe go this way and see what we can find. Maybe we'll just sort of tunnel through and see what we can find. Being in the nether makes me so nervous. Oh my gosh, I could have fallen to my death there. This is very dangerous. First gasp, I'm really not good with the bow, everybody. Uh, no. Okay, never mind. It is gone. Before I started filming this, I saw and read all of the stuff about the new smithing table updates and the trim and stuff, and I am so excited. That looks horrifying in that direction. I hope this is going to poke out somewhere. I feel like I've been digging 
through oh here we go where are we we have emerged more nether wastes unfortunately anything beyond this nether wastes oh a big pool of lava that is i think where you're most likely to find nether fortresses so maybe i just have to bite the bullet and bridge a bit anything nether fortressy doesn't look like it so sad i am holding my shift key down so hard right now it is so scary bridging in the nether Ugh. Hey, a strider. Hey, little guy. They're so cute. I absolutely adore the striders, but I feel like I almost always die whenever I ride one because I just get, like, whenever I try and get off them, I just fall into lava. I cannot seem to get myself to get off and onto land whenever I'm riding a strider. Oh, that was a bit close. Too close, if you ask me. There is just absolutely nothing but nether waste. Like, that's all I can seem to find. I don't even really want to go into these forests just in case I run into a hoglin. That wouldn't be fun. I found a delta. These places are very cool, but I don't know if they really have nether fortresses in them so i think we need to go another way uh excuse me you can't just spawn there oh my gosh what was that it's a little bit ridiculous come on game <sighs> okay i just needed to take a little breather because i was getting stressed out uh, and I've also cleaned up my inventory here, which is quite nice. And I also have put Protection 2 on this chest plate just to give us a little bit more safety. And I am ready to get back to trying to find ourselves a nether fortress. Okay, I kind of want to continue on into the delta, but at the same time, I'm a little bit worried about magma falling. Like... They could just drop right on me. And I would be a toast. Maybe there's a better place to enter into the delta. Wait. Are you serious? It was right here? Oh my god. That is where I tunneled for ages and I just kept going. And all this time, we had another fortress right here. I mean, I guess we've got to go into it now. Oh, and we can get some nether brick. That's nice. It's a pretty good building block. I don't really use nether brick as much as I should, to be honest. I feel like because the t by the time you get like into, I guess, the nether and stuff, you're already sort of settled on your building blocks and your pallet. So I think that's why I always forget. Oh, there we go. We got the advancement. A terrible fortress. Oh my gosh, we are officially in, I think. No, we are still climbing. There we go. Let's up. <laughs> this was some torch. Oh my gosh, not already. Blaze, not now. Why are you over there? Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. You can hear so many blaze. I'm going to get so lost, I can feel it. Got him. Did he drop a blazer? Already? He did. <sighs> there we go. Our first advancement into fire. Oh, is that a blaze spawner? That is. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's a lot of blaze. Oh. 
Okay, this is not going how I thought it would. Enough, enough. No more. Oh, stop, please. Stop, stop. Oh, you hurt, you hurt. Okay, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt. Okay, six blaze rods. That should be good. And the good thing is, is that we have found a spawner, so we could come back if we wanted to and set up some sort of farm. Oh wait, is this side of the entrance? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, we should be able to find some nether warts somewhere here. Oh, it's there. I see, I see it. Oh, and I think we've hit chests and stuff too. Okay, let's get some of this precious nether wart. And we need some soul sand to plant it, and of course, I do have a habit of dying in nether fortresses. Just get in over my head, and then I perish. Oh, chest as well. Okay, any good loot? Oh, some gold. Oh, 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 I forgot about the wither skeletons, I'm so silly. Can he even come up here? He can't. He can't get me. Okay. Yes. Would you like to drop a head? Fun fact, I've never actually beaten the wither. I don't know why that is. Oh, another chest. Anything good? Oh my goodness! Five diamonds? That is insane. Thank you, chest. Is that two blaze spawners? Oh, what? That's pretty impressive. Is there anything I can do with this, actually? Like, are these close enough that I can maybe create a double blaze spawner? Probably not, but that would be kind of cool, I guess. Okay, I think we've got what we came for. We don't want to press our luck. I think it's time that we head back home. Okay, we are back in the overworld, and I couldn't be happier. Honestly, the nether is terrifying, but we have so many goodies. We've got blaze rods, we've got some diamonds, we've got nether wart. We finally can start making potions, which was the whole point of the trip. So I'm glad we have done that. We also found a double blaze spawner. Which, so let's just plonk a little bit of nether wart just here for now. This will only be temporary. Kind of want to do some potion brewing right now. Now, because the nether gives me the heebie-jeebies, I feel like we have to make some fire resistance potions. Now, let's just grab some water. There we go. Pop those guys in here. We will turn our blaze rod into blaze powder. Pop them in there. First we pot in a nether wart and we watch it bubble away. Cool. Now we have awkward potions. So if we chuck in the magma cream, we now have fire resistance potions and maybe if I put the redstone, okay, something's happening. I can't quite remember if this extends things or just like intensifies them maybe. And there we go. Oh, eight minute fire resistance potions. There we go. Oh, and we got an advancement, local brewery. We are moving with the advancements. We've got a few today, that's so cool. I don't know what it is about potion brewing, but it's so fun. To me, potion brewing is fun. And I know we can automate this probably at some stage, but for now, I am enjoying it as it is. Okay, I've had a thought. We kind of need to set up a little potion brewing area, to be honest. I mean, we've got a storage shed, we've got our house, we've got our little sugarcane farm. We basically, have a building for everything at this stage and I don't think we should skimp out on potion brewing either. I was maybe thinking we can put it in the ground floor of our lighthouse but I think it deserves its own building. I love little potion uh, brewing builds, you know, creepy witchy builds, little cottages, those sorts of things and I don't think that we should, you know, neglect that. And so, I kind of have been scoping around for a place to put 
this build. I was sort of thinking maybe down on this island, but I have another idea for this island that I'm hoping to do in another building. But if we follow this path over here, and it is like a little bit of a ways away from, I guess, our main base area, which is kind of cool, you know? The potion brewer maybe is like a little witch who lives in the woods and she, you know, brews potions for the travelers who can seek her out. That sort of thing. I love trying to come up with little stories and stuff for my world like that, but I think like just over here in this wood, and it's really not that far, like we can still see the lighthouse right here, but I think somewhere here, and I will have to do a little bit of terraforming and fixing up of the area, I think we can put a really cool little potion brewing house, witch house tower thing somewhere here. You know, it's tucked away. Maybe there's like a little spire poking out that signifies that there's something here. You see the smoke rising, that sort of thing. And, you know, you can peek through the trees and see the lighthouse. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cool. I think I really like that idea. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time now just sort of cleaning up the area a bit and making it ready for a build. And with that, we have a nice clean area. Oh, baby zombie, baby zombie. No, 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 get away. I can't fight you in this mode. Oh no, please stop it, stop it. I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, where are you? <sighs> okay, as I was saying, the area has been cleared and we now have this nice space to construct our potion brewing hut, our little witch's hut. Uh, I also got a little bit sidetracked and we have four new friends. There were so many wolves that just seemed to keep multiplying as I was clearing out this space, so I couldn't help myself. I tamed them all, I gave them all a different coloured collar, but I'm going to need some names. So please, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about all of the other things that I've asked for names for. When we get villagers and I get a librarian, then we will be swimming in name tags and I'll finally rename everything. But yeah, we have this space. I've also sort of laid out the foundation. I've also laid out this little uh, foundation or guide for me. I have gotten my resources together that I hope that I will need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I think this build is going to be a little bit different from my other builds. It's gonna be a little bit, I don't know. I'm trying to make it a little bit quirkier, I guess. I just felt like because this is a house in the woods, it's for potions, witches, whatever. We can be a little bit whimsical with the shape and things. So I'm gonna try a different roof shape and try a bit more of a different structure as well. Next, we'll just add some stone brick. Something else that I think, something else that I'm doing with this build is I'm trying to add a bit of dimension to things. Hopefully that comes through as well. We're also going to pop out a little bit of spruce here so that the upper level will have a little bit of an overhang. And then we're gonna pop these out even further. And so we'll drag this across. I don't know if this is structurally sound, but I think it looked cool. So this is the shape I'm sort of gonna go with. And I also need to strip everything. Okay, it's slowly coming together. There we go, that's much better. So now you can see we've got this depth here. There's sort of a block between the spruce and the wall. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to mark in the roof shape. Now this isn't one that I have done a lot, but it's kind of gonna sort of start out with a gentle curve and then slope up into a peak in the middle. And there we go, you can see it's sort of got a little flare at the bottom slopes up into a nice peak at the top and with the roof shape in place i'm just going to go and add a little bit of our texture that we've got going okay part one of the build is complete 
Obviously it's missing a lot of details, but we'll go back and add that in later. Next is a little jut out here that I want to do. So we're just going to build up some supports here. And this one is just going to be slightly lower than our other structure as well. We're still going to go with the same swervy roof shape. So I'm just going to add that in now. And there we go. We have our little bit of a jut out here. It just adds, I don't know, a little bit of depth as well. A little bit of interest. Now that that's done, we just need to worry about this little tower here. For the base of this tower, I think I'm just going to use these chiseled stone bricks, which I don't use that often, to be honest. We're just going to go up randomly from there. We're also going to need a way over to this tower, and I thought it could be cool if we had just a little sort of drawbridge and i kind of feel like it would be neat if the sort of railing for this bridge was these gates oh it's looking so good peeking through the trees We've added in our tower, well, part of the tower structure anyway. I really love the combination of smooth quartz and calcite. I don't know what it is, but I just, it really works well together. And we'll just do a little pop out with some spruce just to give us a little bit of extra wiggle room up here. There we go, it's coming together. There we go. Looks cool, right? And I love how you can see it poking out past the tree, as well as the building. Oh, it looks so good. Tucked away in the woods. And now we have our main structure. So I'm just gonna go around and do detailing like I normally would. And there we go. I still need to add in some decoration like plant life and stuff which I'm going to do in a sec but I think I finished with all the details and I really like how this came out okay we're definitely gonna need some bushes around the place you can just scatter them all over the place and it looks great we can even add in a little bit of this mossy just to tie in the green a bit more a few glow berries here and there, a little bit of glow lichen, and just a few vines. Can't forget to fill in the flower beds. And I reckon over here, we could sort of do, I don't know, some kind of like banner situation using some wool and some shroom lights. Just something like that add a little bit of interest to the side here and i think here is like the perfect spot as well to make a little patch for our nether wart we've also got this nether wart block we can add here just i don't know some sort of banner i suppose and with that i think the outside is done so all that's really left is the interior there's something really fun about interiors just sort of you know filling them with all sorts of bits and bobs it's really quite fun and challenging because, you know, the blocks are really limited, but you can come up with some really cool ideas if you just sort of let your imagination take over, you know. And just a little bit of a bedroom up here for our, for our witch, our potion brewer. And I think that's an interior. What do you think? I mean, there's probably a million little things that I could keep adding. I'm never, you know, 100% satisfied, but I really love how this came out and I'm glad that we took the time to make a little area that we can come and do our potion brewing. You know, we've got three brewing stands here and if we do get stuck over here at night time, we've got the tower with uh, the bed in it. So I think 
this came out really well. It's a little bit of a different build than what I've done before, but still keeping within the same style. And yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I think I'm really going to enjoy coming here and doing potion brewing. There's still, you know, a few things that I want to add, like some more trees maybe, and maybe even some custom trees, and then, you know, we can use a few more plants from the nether to really make it look like, I don't know, something's going on here. But yeah, I think it came out really cool. I love how you can see it poke through the trees from over by the enchanting tower and yeah you sort of get a glimpse of it as you're wandering over to the enchanting tower and then you see the little witch's tower pop into view and then the smoke rising in the distance and it sort of catches your eye and you're like oh what's over there and with that i think we're going to call it there you're probably sick of me placing blocks and mumbling by now so thank you so much for watching this episode i'm glad that we took the time to build this and we're making more progress can't wait to see what else we do next and what other adventures we might find in this world but thank you so much again for watching please be kind to yourself have a great day and i will see you in the next episode goodbye